Does anyone want to have a stab at articulating what is the difference between a wage and a salary? Yeah, okay. Wages we earn hourly rate in a week and salaries like like teachers they earn like fortnightly or weekly. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so this is worth jotting down because it's so important. Hourly rate is exactly right, okay, and most people therefore your age are gonna get wages, right? It's like, well, I earned, I, I worked 11 hours this week, so they're going to pay me 11 times whatever my hourly rate is, and <coughs> it might include penalty rates and so on, right? What that means is wages tend to get paid to certain kinds of workers, namely casual or part-time staff, right? Casual or part-time. It's like, I work a different number of hours every single week, so sometimes I'll get this amount of money, sometimes I'll get that amount of money. Casual part-time people, they're going to get that. If, however, you've got someone who's not casual or part-time, someone who's full-time, they're like a permanent member of staff, that means they're pretty much getting the same amount every single week. And maybe they've been there for years and years and years. So that's where salaries come in, right? Salaries are pretty much an annual amount. Okay. So someone will say, oh, I earned this, and the figure they're referring to is, how much in a whole year that they will take home, okay? So wages are an hourly rate. They're generally for casual part-time staff, casual or part-time staff, whereas salaries are an annual amount, okay? Now, I will mention, you can still have a part-time worker. If they're permanent, they'll still get a salary, but it's what we call pro rata. Does anyone know what pro rata means? Or ever heard, who's heard the phrase before, pro rata? Cool, I'm going to tell you something new. The idea of pro rata is, for example, suppose as you have here at school, we have loads of these, <clears throat> someone who works two days a week uh, instead of full-time work, which is five days, right? This person who works two days a week and say me who works five days a week, we might actually have the same salary, right? The same salary, but because I work so much more than them, obviously I'm going to earn more, two days out of five, what percentage is two days out of five? 40. That's 40%, isn't it? Because each day is 20% until you get to 100. So therefore, this person is going to get 40% of the salary, right? We still have the same salary, but they're only earning 40%. This is called pro rata because it's like a rate, right? So it's like 40% of whatever the salary was anyway. So we might be qualified at the same level, we might do the same amount of work, but it's just a function of how much time. Uh, another example of pro rata work is a contractor. Does anyone know what a contractor is? It's a contractor. The name almost tells you. Yeah, someone who's given a contract, it's like, hey, um, for example, my brother is an IT contractor, right? So his work, they, a company never really wants an IT contractor for more than like six months at a time. Like that's a long job for him. He'll work on that project and move on, okay? So he's gonna do exactly the same thing. Because he's got six months, on the job, right? Six months out of 12. So pro rata, what rate is he gonna get? He's just gonna get half, right? 50%. We might have the same salary, right? We might be doing the same work and so on. But he'll only get that same amount because he works for a shorter amount of time, okay? So that's all that's referring to. And you'll see that word sometimes come up in questions or in the textbook, okay? So getting this distinguishing distinction between these two and trying to get the two to marry together, that's mainly what this exercise is about, right? Comparing, okay, if I'm casual and I have this much per hour, right? A salaried person, almost always, if you take it, and let's say, how many, how many days do you think someone works in a year? Do we know this? Can we work it out? How many, um, how many days are there in a year? There are 365, right? Yeah, four weeks old. But no one, no one works for all of those days, right? For example, everyone has, well, Salary people are going to have weekends, right? So that's like every seven days, they lose two. So maybe instead of counting in days, we should count in weeks, right? Because every year has the same number of weeks. So we're going to go with 52 weeks. Now, in Australia, the award says that you get four weeks of annual leave every year. Four weeks. It's not very much, but that's all you get. So that means how many work, working weeks are there? There are 48, right? So I'm going to go 48 working weeks, okay? How many days is that? Each one's five days, right? What is 48 times five? 240. 
200 and... Well, 250 would be 50 times 5, so I just go 2 back, which is 240. So 240 working days. Now, you should jot this down. This is an important number, right? Something interesting will happen, and you'll encounter this in the questions that you made. <coughs> if you take someone's salary and you divide it by 240, okay? you divide it by 240. Uh, as an example, I'll tell you my salary. It's not, it's not private. All government employees, we're all out there on, on the big wide internet. So mine, I'm pretty sure, if you round it, is that number. Okay. Now it's worth mentioning, and we'll get more into this later. This is what we call gross income, so they haven't taken tax out of me. I lose about half of that to tax, so it's not as impressive as it sounds. But just going with that number, how much am I earning every single day? I'm just going to divide, aren't I? Okay. So if I go ahead and divide, oh, sorry. <coughs> Oops, let's do cents as well. I'm getting this number, okay? So in theory, that's how much I'm getting paid every day. Okay? Now I can tell you right now, for any of these kinds of situations, if there's like pro rata or hourly, someone's always going to be earning more than me every single day. Like a casual staff, right? If they're qualified at the same level as I am, they're gonna be earning more than that. Why is that? Why do the permanent employees who get salary why do they get shafted and earn less than the casuals? Yeah. Because they don't, well, if you're part-time, you get all these benefits, like annual work and all that stuff, but the casual, you don't. Yeah, very good. Remember, we kind of stuck this in, didn't we? That out of the 52 weeks, we get stuff like this. We get annual leave, right? Um, we also get stuff like sick leave. We get all kinds of entitlements. Um, all of these things that get added in because we're under this scheme here, right? So that's kind of like baked into there. If you're a contractor and you don't work, you don't get paid, like sick leave like I do, you just don't get paid and you don't earn money that day, right? So it's kind of a riskier way to work and that's why to compensate, they'll give you a bit extra. Okay, so is that per day? So that would be per day, that's me, per day, okay? But an equivalent person, like who's just at a casual rate, might earn say 500, it's like a big deal, that's like a big jump, okay? But it's because there's risk involved in that. Um, my brother, like I said, who's a contractor, because he never gets to have like a whole year's of work and never gets to know, I can just wake up in the morning and I know I'll have a job there. He gets paid substantially more than me over the course of six months than I earn in 12 months, right? Because there's risk built into his job. Sometimes he goes three months and there's just no work. Okay? So there's always these things to balance, 